Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman, and this is Super Bowl Sunday on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see a now healthy Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers as they match up with the Red Rifle, Andy Dalton, and the Cincinnati Bengals. Kickoff now just moments away. It is finally time to crown a champion as I'll hand it over to the two men who will call the action, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Alongside my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. We are honored to be here for the biggest spectacle in sports, the Super Bowl. Are you ready, partner? I am more than ready, and I love the word you used, honored because it is an honor to be here. It's a privilege to be here. My excitement is just about to burst through the booth. I can't wait to do this. Well, and sitting with both of these teams and talking in the meetings and media day and all the hoopla that goes into this, there was one common theme. They're ready to stop the talking and start playing football. Yeah, they were probably ready a while ago. Now they can just focus on it. It's done. The only talking they have to worry about now is post-game, and they hope that they'll be talking as the winning team. And we'll see. You know both sides come in with a game plan to start. We'll see how the adjustments are made throughout because there are always adjustments in this game. I want to see if they come out conservative, trying to minimize errors, or if they have enough confidence to attack early and try and take advantage of the other team's nervousness. down throw coming for Dalton and down he goes the 49ers get there Eric Armstead the defensive end will get credited for the sack that's called setting the tone right away it certainly is and it lets you know just how important communication is amongst the offensive line they talk about it all the time knowing each other's moves you've got to be coordinated and in sync otherwise your quarterback gets hit Assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. This is Joe Mixon, fourth in the NFL in rushing last season. And look at this for the second straight play. The 49er defense drops him for a loss. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Third and long. What will Dalton dial up? Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. It's a gain of five. And that's going to make it fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was, the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Back deep, Trent Taylor. This is taken at about the 14. They'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. The Niners heading out by their six-year quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo. Jimmy, of course, sat behind Tom Brady for much of his tenure in New England. Won his first five starts as a Niner in 2017, then the injury last year. So still some question marks surrounding number 10 out there under center. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 21. A first carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Here we go. 
this will probably be the last play of the quarter. No score after one on EA Sports. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. Second and 13, Garoppolo and Garrett Selleck here on the completion. This will be a gain of about eight to the 27-yard line. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Open man is Pettis, it's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Well, Pettis is quickly becoming the number one receiving option for Jimmy Garoppolo. In the last year, John Lynch said that they loved the way he closed the season, really came on late. Remember, this is a guy that they traded up to get at number 44 back in 2018 out of the University of Washington. Back-to-back go, go. back good plays have him on the move on first down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Here we go, here Able to get go, seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Garoppolo after the fake give to Brita. And he finds his target. It's Marquise Goodwin. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Garoppolo in the offense with a first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And yet again, it's Garoppolo. This will be caught inside the ten. And down he goes, taking it inside the ten, just shy of the five at the six. That's now a pair of explosive plays in succession, both north of 20 yards. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. That'll bring out second and goal after the gain of five. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Second down, Garoppolo to the end zone, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver, Marquise Goodwin, but now it's third and goal. Come upon half. 
So the halftime show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Time show quite a spectacle, but it's back to football for the second half of Super Bowl 53. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And we thought this game had the potential to be tight. Maybe not this tight, scoreless as we start the third quarter. And I love the way you use the word tight. I'm going to take it a little bit different direction here because it's not just tight on the scoreboard. I think both offenses have been tight in how they've played this game. No one's been loose. No one's been free. They've got to find a way to make some plays, and I don't think you do it if you're really tight in everything that you're doing in the game. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Garoppolo looks to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Geno Atkins able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three here sacks go, in go. this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Another try after the first down sack. Garoppolo, the throw to the left side, caught by Coleman. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. And a nickel look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Ryan Glasgow in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. Erickson now to return. A big boot that time, 57 yards the official distance. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. Cincinnati coming back onto the field here for their second drive. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Dalton. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Boyd. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. One quarter remains here in the Super Bowl. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And Eifert has it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Dalton to his big target, Eifert, for the Cincinnati first. That gets them the first down, but they've still got to move quickly here. First down now, but that clock rolling. 56 to Mike. 56 to Mike. Big spot, Andy Dalton. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock, but I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big gain. Dalton saying, let's get going here, guys, as he rallies them to get set. Looking to throw again on second down. Dalton, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And Dalton to throw. And the catch good. It's Eifert. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Now the Bengals going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Javani Burn, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. The Bengals going to use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now Bernard. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Overtime in a playoff game. Awesome setup. two teams for four quarters. Here we go to begin overtime. This one fielded at the five. He had a good return. He's across the 35-yard line, right around the 36. Now this offense ready to head back out there. Except for their first drive here in overtime. And this is where the crowd can really become a factor. They've had to battle it all day. But I know what you're saying. In overtime, that gets double, doesn't it? At least, because now the crowd really wants to be involved and help their team. And that first drive can dictate the whole thing because they know if this team takes it downfield and scores a touchdown, it's game over. It's been loud in here so far. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breida. And he'll grab a gain of five out of this up to the 41-yard line. 
Matt Breida out of Georgia Southern now in his third year in a 49er uniform. He was tough to keep off the field last year. Very good yards per carry. 5.3 on 153 attempts. Good for over 800 yards rushing. First throw of OT for Garoppolo. Deep ball for Goodwin. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, but they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. But well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And they need five yards on third down here to keep this opening drive of OT alive. Gets this one left side to Pettis. And he's got a first down as he's up to the 48. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. We always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Here we go. Wait, Amy! Move that, move that. Did you seven from my <laughs> And he got blown up. Losing yardage on the play back at the 44. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. Side caught Watch by Goodwin. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Check. A nickel look now for the Bengals as they try to stop him here on third down. False start, offense. Yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw oh, it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming, pick them up, pick them up. And someone jumped. Here we go. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Oh, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. Pick six, baby. Let's get this. Oh, damn. A costly mistake here at OT. And you know what they say when you throw an interception like that in overtime? You don't usually get a chance to throw a second one. I mean, I'm not sure the analytics on it. Let's ask Marvin, our statistician, to, to ring that down for us. That's typically how coaches and teams feel about it. You throw one you likely cost yourself the game. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. Their defense did its job, got the stop. All they need is three, and this is over. Couldn't have done much else other than score themselves and end it, but they turned it back over to them, and now all they need is a field goal to win the game. An excellent job by the defense. Can the offense finish things off? Now part one is done, now part two. Passing, it's Dalton. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. Now another timeout called for by the offense. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Dalton now to pass to the left side here for Eifert. Forty Niners have an extra defensive back on the field, a nickel set for third down. Dalton here from the gun. Got a man, it's Ross, complete. And the timeout coming in here with just seven seconds remaining in the extra session. A 
So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. This will be Dalton again. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. So the OT clock hits zero, and we're still not done. We'll switch sides and need at least one more OT to decide it after this. Dalton going to break the huddle, come up first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. And it'll be Dalton again. That's complete, Bernard. No gain on the play there, it'll be second down. Well, he caught it right at the line of scrimmage, and before he could even think about advancing it forward, he got hit. Great tackling, because that's what you're taught. Don't give up yards after the catch, and most offenses make a living off of yards after catch. Those hidden yards that may not go into the score sheet, but they count big for moving the ball and stretching the field. Really nice open field tackle. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Another nice job there defensively. They've really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face, Good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. And able to find Green. And they'll get this down to the 10. His first catch, and it's a big one in overtime. It's a first down. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs and give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. To throw here, Dalton on the screen, Bernard. And he's into the end zone. Move over, James White. You've got a new rival for best finish to a Super Bowl ever. Bengal Nation rejoice. Cincinnati has given you the Super Bowl title.